Welcome to this MOOC on Leadership for Engineers and thank you for your decision to join us. As a team of both scientists and practitioners, we've been working on this MOOC for several weeks and I would like to use this introduction to manage your expectations a bit. Leadership is a very broad topic and we of course had to select what we think is key for the coming weeks. Engineers are very analytical. They are comfortable with figures. They have a can-do attitude want to solve problems, design solutions. You might call this the analytical mindset of an engineer. A leader, of course, needs an analytical mindset, but there's more. In our modern world, problems are so complex that there often is no one right solution. When you want to solve a problem, you will be faced with stakeholders, both internal and external stakeholders, who might have completely different perceptions on problems and solutions. Our world is extremely dynamic. And these characteristics mean that the analytical mindset alone doesn't suffice. You need to develop a second mindset. And that will be the topic of the first part of the course taught by Gerdien de Vries and me. In the second part of this course you will meet Stefan Rots and Surya Ramkumar, who are both at McKinsey. The focus in this part of the course is on you individually. If you want to be a leader with impact, you will have to answer the question who you are, whether you are comfortable with yourself, and how to cope with often demanding and stressful situations. There are many tools and techniques that can help you to answer these questions, and Stefan and Soria will present a selection of these tools and techniques. Part 3 has been designed by Peter Lichthardt and Dana Kruger from Russell Reynolds Associates. In part 3, they will present different leadership styles. They will introduce the concept of sustainable leadership and they will try to bring part 1 and part 2 together. Finally, leadership is an ambiguous concept. There are many gurus, many different schools of thought and there is no single truth about leadership. That's why we invite you to challenge our opinions, to ask questions, and we'll try our best to answer these questions and to have a vivid and lively discussion with you about leadership.